Hello and welcome. These are the solutions to quiz 11. So let's look at the first question. Which term best describes O2? Molecule, compound. So both of them, neither one of them, just one of them. Okay, so O2 is a molecule. It's a molecule of oxygen. A compound must contain two or more elements. So it's not a compound. So it is only a molecule, A. How many electrons does an iron 3 ion contain? So Fe three plus is what an iron three ion is. And so then what we'd wanna do is have a periodic table open because we need to get that proton count for um, iron. I believe it's atom number 26. Where the heck is my periodic table? So once again, if you are using the quizzes and you need a periodic table or some useful information, there is some useful information provided in the, uh, in the page. So iron's atomic number is 26. So iron's atomic number is 26. I just need to look at a periodic table to get that. That tells me that it has 26 protons, um, 26 protons, and then it has 23 electrons. So it's lost three electrons to come up with a net charge of plus three. So 23 electrons. What is the symbol for perchlorate ion? So chlorate is the three with the minus, so the perchlorate would be one more O, so it'd be ClO4 minus. So what, should the, uh, what is the formula of barium peroxide? So barium two plus, peroxide is O2 with a two minus, so the formula here would be just BaO2. So BaO2, C. So B would be two plus two minus, that's barium oxide. Ba2O2, that would be um, two bariums, two oxides. That's actually kind of a fictitious compound, if you will. So that's not even like a real compound. Um, that the, uh, um, so that's just kind of a weird one. Um, and so then this one here would be barium superoxide because we'd have a two plus and then a two minus coming from the two O2 groups. So I don't even think this can truly exist, but if this did, you would call this barium super oxide. Because the superoxide ion is the O2 group with a minus charge on the whole thing. So if you have two of those, then you have a total of minus two. Okay, so ammonium carbonate. So carbonate, CO3, two minus, ammonium, NH4 plus, so we're gonna need two of the ammonium. So it'll be NH42, CO3. So that looks like A.
six, the total subatomic particles in phosphide ion. So P3 minus 31. So some of the protons and neutrons. So the total subatomic count would be the number of protons plus the number of neutrons plus the number of electrons. Okay, and so we, we already have the sum of the protons and the neutrons, that's 31. Phosphorus is element number 15. So if we're tracking this, this would be 15 protons, 16 neutrons, 31 total of those particles, and we need to add to it three more electrons than the positive charge, so that's 18 electrons, so that's 15 plus the three um, for the charge, and then that would give us a total of uh, 49. for A. What is the proper name of chromium oxide or chromium CrO3? So this is an oxide, two minus charge, three of them minus six, we got a plus six chromium. So this would be chromium six oxide. We mentioned in class that you wouldn't call this chromium trioxide because we're only naming molecular compounds using that binary system where you go mono, di, tri, tetra, etc. That's for molecular compounds. This compound here is an ionic compound. So we got to name it with the cation name followed by the anion name. Which term best describes methanol? So it says ionic binary molecular acid. Okay, so if we write the formula, that may or may not need to do that to answer this question. It's not an ionic, that has metal and non-metals together. It's not a binary because that's two elements and only two elements, but in any proportion. It is a molecular compound. It's not best described though as being an acid. Sometimes you see this H here, you think it's an acid. It kind of looks like a formula you might write. This is a particular group here that we call our carboxylic acid group um, or that we're underlying this ion that we know how to name of acetate. So there's a few ways you can spot an acid. Look for the underlying anion that you know how to name. The underlying anion to methanol is not something in our anion nomenclature because it's not going to um, form. You know, so in other words, methanol is not an acid. So it's just a molecular compound. So the nine, which formula name pair is correct? CO carbon oxide, that's obviously carbon monoxide. CCL4, it says monocarbon tetrachloride. It should just be carbon tetrachloride. We don't put mono for the first element. HBRO, it says hypobromous acid. That is indeed correct because hypobromite is BRO minus. I remember that because BRO3 with a minus is the eight. So two lost would be hypo, us is indicative of an ite ion underneath or complementary to that acid. So that would be hypobromous acid. And then iodic acid should be hydroiodic acid or sometimes hydroiodic acid. So D is incorrect and A and B are incorrect. So the answer is C. 10, copper, two natural occurring isotopes. Oh boy, I have to have a calculation problem. Yay. Um, so copper, two natural isotopes, one isotope. 62.9 whatever and the other one is 60 oh no and it has a, an abundance of 69.09 percent calculate the atomic weight of the other isotope okay so this is kind of a word problem we're just going to take the fraction that's the one the key here is that we got two natural isotopes so i got the lighter isotope times the, the atomic weight of that isotope plus the fraction of the heavier isotope times the atomic weight of the heavier isotope these are going to add together to the average atomic weight I get this in the periodic table. So for copper, it says 63.546 AMU. The fraction of the lighter, it says 69.09%. So we know this would be 0 0.69090 times the mass given, 62.92. And I suppose I can say real quick, 9298. That I'm already looking at these choices, kind of seeing how close they are together and realizing I'm going to have to run this calculation here that I can't just eyeball the answer easily. So I'm going to have to calculate this. But the key is that I know this fraction of the heavier isotope is just 1 minus 0 0.69. So 1 minus 0 0.69090. Uh, I can't type today. 1 minus 0 0.69090. Calculators six nine zero nine. It's point three zero nine one. So that's the fraction of the heavier isotope times its atomic weight, which we don't know. That's what we're going to solve for. So we just need to do some algebra here. I'm going to do sixty three point five four six 
and then I'm going to minus the 0.69 times the 62.98 number. So I'm going to minus 0.69, 63.5. Five four six minus point six nine zero oh nine times sixty two point nine two nine eight that equals twenty point zero six seven and then that's going to equal the zero point three zero nine one times the atomic weight of the heavier isotope so I just need to divide both sides by point three oh nine one. So do that, 0 0.3091 divided into that gives me a mass of 64.923 atomic mass units. And that's going to round to this one here. Okay, so we end up with answer D. We do our arithmetic here, just looking up and knowing to look up the average atomic weight on the periodic table and knowing how to write this expression. If this expression looks hard, that's just from summing up the fraction of each of the isotopes times their individual atomic weights going to equal the average that we get from the periodic table. Okay, then lastly, um, number 11, which, what is the name of the compound with the formula HG2C2H3O22? Okay, so this is um, acetate ion, which has a minus charge. So that's a minus, there's two of them, minus two means I have an overall plus two for the two mercuries. The HG2, two plus ion is mercury one. So this is a common ion known as mercury one kind of a weird one but only the weird case like this that we see that we're responsible for knowing so this would be mercury one um, acetate and i should mention that oxalate used to be in our naming it's not uh, on our current list so i guess in our um sometime in the past i had covered oxalate ions so that's probably why you see that choice given there and maybe looking at that and saying do i need to know oxalate don't worry about it that's just from uh, an old an old test all right guys that's the solutions for quiz 11.